82% um, certification passing rate. And um, the average salary, uh, the, the average self-reported salary of our uh, alumni is around 89,000. We have a 68% job placement rate within six months and about a 78% job placement rate within a year. Next slide. So about myself, uh, I am the co-founder along with Paloma, who's gonna get a chance to introduce herself, but I'm the co-founder. I have a background in management information system. I am Red Hat certified and I'm mostly responsible for student outcome at Jello Tel Tech. Next slide. So this is where I will let Paloma introduce herself from her story about her transition in IT is very compelling. It, it, it's, it, it has a lot um, in common with uh, your story as you are considering or, or as you are in the process of um, changing careers. So uh, uh, Paloma, please introduce yourself. Thank you, Jerry. Hello, everybody. Good evening. So I'm Paloma Vilsius, um, and I'm one of the founders at Yellowtel. I myself am a career changer. Um, so many years ago, I found myself migrating to the US and kind of tired of my first career, um, which was social sciences. Um, I didn't see a way that I could like migrate and bring the same level of income I had already uh, gained in my country. So it wasn't clear like what I had to do to, to make my credentials work in the US. Um, and also I wasn't sure if I wanted to stay, well, I was sure I, want, I didn't want to stay in that field. So I considered several careers. I even fiddled with becoming a nutritionist. But fortunately, I had I had some people around me that told me I couldn't go from one uh, career that had low income potential to another one. Um, so um, one of the other things I I considered was uh, something to do with computers. Like that's that's how much I knew about computers back then. So I wanted to do something with computers because I was kind of tired of dealing with humans. Um, so I. I started to, to speak to people. Fortunately, I had uh, Juby, who was my fiance back then, and also his uh, professional network and, and, and like school network. And I was able to leverage that to kind of find my own path in IT. Um, initially, I didn't know, like I was buying all the books, all the Udemy courses. I was getting distracted. Like one day I was uh, buying something to, to become a DBA. Another day I was trying to learn about Puppet. Um, so so fortunately having, having Juby kind of mentor me helped me figure out my path. So I went from doing that to kind of choosing a certification that defined what I needed to learn. So I worked backwards, like from the, the curriculum of the certification um, and also from, from like what was required to even understand what was in the, in the certification. Um, that was a, a very interesting uh, experience for me because I did mostly self-study, um, again, with mentorship, but but studying on my own with books, with online classes, but I had to consume crazy amounts of information, like information that I still have nothing to do with. Um, so when uh, I was very successful at getting the, the initial certs, which were Red Hat certs, because initially I started as a Linux system administrator, I found, I went to find uh, a job in, in the market as a Linux sysadmin. At that point, cloud was, it already uh, existed, though it wasn't nearly as, as popular. So I remember I took a little napkin and I said, okay, what do I want to do next? What is Paloma's path going to be now that I am a sysadmin? 
So I I noted these things. I said I wanna I want to learn about cloud. I said I don't know enough networking to probably understand cloud. So I went and and kind of took a step back and uh, and and studied for a network plus. So I was getting certs not because the job market required them because I already had the job, but I was using them as a way to to keep myself committed to a study plan and to fill in the gaps that I knew I had because hello, imposter syndrome. Um, I was a woman in IT transitioning from social sciences and I thought I didn't know a lot of things, which in part was true, but it, it, I made myself believe it was more than it was. Um, so, so I kind of used that strategy to, to grow my career. Um, initially, People in my community, like in my family, people we knew um, in, in Maryland were like, how did you do that transition? How does one just migrate to the U.S., land with a social sciences degree and, and find a, a job in IT so quickly? And um, I started to help out people in my direct community and in, in Jewish community. And once we noticed that we were able to help lawyers, like people in the medical field that were tired of whatever they were doing, because we we can all change careers. Like it's not just because your career is not high earning or anything like that. We all have our reasons. Um, and like from what I've seen, your age doesn't matter. Nothing like that matters. Um, so we started doing that. And then we said, wait, we could offer this as a service because there are many, many, many unfilled IT jobs, especially uh, Linux admin jobs in the DC area where, where we lived that, that remained unfilled for a year, for two years. Like still today, I've never held a position that wasn't vacant for, uh, for a year. And I, didn't, I don't think I've ever been replaced quickly neither. Um, so that was certainly um, a gap and in, in, there was certainly a gap in Maryland, and we tried to, to help fix that problem by training a new generation of Linux admins. Um, fast forward to 2020, um, I went from, from Linux admin to, um, to cloud engineer, um, doing some architect uh, type of work. Um, I led a team of 13 engineers um, at, uh, at, a, at a group in Sony. Um, we did very interesting stuff there, um, but the, the pandemic helped us transition from just training people in Maryland to training people in the whole United States. So I kind of stepped back from, from my private practice, to call it somehow, um, and came full-time into Yellowtop. Um, and that's also when we we experimented some growth because we were we started to sell services in the whole country. That's it for me, Jerry. Yes, thank you for the long and um, very detailed introduction. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, it's it, it it really gives us um, an idea of where Yellow Tail Tech um, came from. Because a lot of people don't realize that Yellowtail Tech is built on us, not only training you, but seeing a path to doing this with many other people. So it started on, on, a, on, a, on a kitchen table where you were um, transitioning. So you are very much the example of what it is we want. We are dupli duplicating every day. Uh, and that also influenced some decisions about our curriculum. Like we have a very long format compared to other training academies. And that's because the five-day training model didn't work for Paloma. Going back to college and getting in, that didn't work for me. So I wanted to bring that opportunity to you guys um so that you have so that you have an opportunity to really learn IT like not just hear about 70 concepts over five days 
um, and and also like gain the vocabulary, gain the the practical um, experience and all that. And 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 not only that, uh, because we started with you training you helping you transition we naturally built um some experience around working with people with absolutely no it background and in fact believe it or not uh my whole idea was once i get on my feet i'm gonna stop training people with no it background i'm gonna focus on people with some certs already who's already in the industry to actually help them make more money because Linux system administrators and cloud engineers make more money. And I kept, when I went back and looked at the data, the people I was having uh, a success with were the people who were transitioning. So this is at the point we decided this is the niche. This is, this is who we were called to work with. This is who we were called to serve. And then this is when we came up with the tagline, we only work with people with no IT background to actually help them uh, break into the industry. And also this is when our, our, our value proposition started speaking to the market because this, this market really needed uh, a company that speaks directly to them. And you're gonna also notice that our programs are intentionally longer, they are slower, they, they, they they, um, they have a lot more foundational pieces to them. It's because we know that's what is needed for someone to properly transition because any place can train you to actually go do a job, but not a lot of places care about or can train you to actually build proper foundation for you to start a new career in IT. So this is the direction we wanted to take. And um, we, we spent many years with one program. And then in 2020, we decided to launch AWS for jobs. Uh, again, when Paloma was ready, had the uh, proper uh, um, uh, experience Credential. and credential and, and support to be able to build out the AWS for job that's uh, going very well right now. So now we have two programs, which is Linux for Jobs and AWS for Jobs. And um, another thing, something that happened and at the end of uh, last year is that we became almost simultaneously uh, partners, authorized partners with Red Hat and AWS almost at the same time. This is to explain you that we've done a lot of work uh, on our curriculum to the point where our curriculum was vetted by both of these companies. And uh, we, they decided it was good enough for us to actually, um, uh, for them to actually put their name uh, uh, next to our, our brand, which is a very, very important. And uh, it's very important to you too, as a student, as an alumni, as a potential student, to come in to an, uh, to an institution that is authorized, that is officially authorized to deliver the, the material that you are being delivered. So this is a big win for us. This is gonna help us in many ways, not only in credibility for the brand, cred more credibility for your training when you come out of Yellow Tail Tech, but also the support you get, uh, uh, we get from Red Hat and AWS, we're gonna pass that on to you uh, uh, um, as, as student of, uh, of the company as well. So that's really it. Uh, and also we are, proud to, um, uh, we have a new badge, which is Rising Start of 2023, uh, which is um, from Course Report. So Course Report has a list of um, um, training centers and boot camp that are um, gathering more and more good reviews. And uh, we made the list, we made the cut. So not only we are rising star of 2023, we were best coding bootcamp um, by college consensus in 2022. And we have great, uh, we have, uh, um, we actually have more now, Yana. We have almost 300 uh, verified student reviews, uh, raving reviews about what we're doing at Yellow Tail Tech. 
So uh, if you do nothing tonight, I encourage you to go Google yellow tail tax space reviews and then you're gonna get a chance to actually not only take it from us but um see what uh, uh students out there are saying about their experience with uh yellow tail tax next slide so um our model is built on relentless support when it comes to career support because we realize and we know that Training is very important, but getting you the job is the goal. And again, that's why four jobs is part of the name of the program. So our career support is airtight, is in fact, I, I, I can dare to say our career support is one of the tightest in the industry. Not only would it help you with resume writing, uh, uh, making sure your resume is on point, uh, making sure your LinkedIn is optimized. We may, we have many rounds of mock interviews to make sure you are ready for the job market. Because most places, when you go for a job, they just interview you and with a very plain face, they tell you, thank you. And if you get the job, they'll let you know. And in the mock interviews, what we do is not only we mimic uh, the way an interview should be, but you get immediate feedback about how, you, how you've done and how you can improve. Because what you, you will never get that in the, real, uh, 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 in the real world, in the real job market, because no one wants to really, no one cares to even give you all that feedback. But we know that's very imp important. And one thing we've been improving is our job search optimization. We have a portal now um, um, that helps us track how we support students through their job search process. Yana, if you could uh, move the slide. Uh, so there are many uh, aspects to our, our portal now. So not only uh, we keep track of all our students who's in the job search process, uh, you can move the slide but we also are measuring uh, how much activity uh, you, how much work, how much effort you're putting into actually looking for jobs. So uh, we are able to, to, to measure that and understand who needs the most help, who's uh, um, doing the work, who needs more support and so on. So uh, this dashboard is is really helpful for us. And another aspect with, of, of the of this uh, uh, platform is the job curation aspect of it, where we uh, uh, we have a team that is always actively curating jobs and uh, uh, putting it in this platform, making it available for students to apply. So yes, you are responsible to be looking for jobs yourself. But we help, we definitely help in the process and putting those jobs that are pre-vetted in front of you for you to actually be able to um, fa uh, fast track your, your job search process. Next slide. And the last part of our, uh, our job search optimization is that we help you put together a personalized profile where we invite recruiters to be able to have access to our uh, to the profile of our students who are actively looking for jobs. So this is a very powerful platform we have. This is one that really has helped us improve our, 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 um, our student placement rate in general. Next slide. Yeah, so that's all I wanted to, talk, uh, to, to say about Yellowtail. I didn't wanna spend the whole time talking. Uh, I wanted to spend more time with you chatting and um, giving um, the students we invited a chance to introduce themselves and to for you to get a chance to ask them questions about their their journey. This is why we always bring two students, one who's actively actively going through the process and one who actually went through the process and can give you uh, a different perspective of how it is to work with Yellow Tail Tech. So uh, let us welcome uh, Tomilayo and Jotson. So um, Tomilayo, um, can you turn on your camera and mic? Jotson as well. 
Ik kan mij zo doen. Ja. Um, Tommy Lyo, are you around? Yeah, she's there. She's there? Oh, yep. great, great, great. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so let me let me start uh, with uh, Tommy Lyo. Tommy Lyo, um, thank you for the, taking the time tonight to being there uh, 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 with us. First, if you will, can you tell us a little bit about your journey um, um, in tech in general? So starting even before Yellow Tail Tech, how you actually considered IT, how you stumble in your, in your, on Yellow Tail Tech, and how was your journey uh, from there on? Um, so I was a novice to um, IT. I, have, I had no idea. Um, I, I just know what IT was, like a layman, right? And I would usually think it was magic because I, I didn't like it. <laughs> but I, I just wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to do something, um, you know, I wanted to leave my comfort zone. And so I, I decided to uh, make a research on IT. And um, I had a conversation with my brother and he introduced me to a student uh, of Yellowtail. And, you know, he told me great things about uh, the organization and, you know, I was sold. And so I decided to dive in, even though I, I, I knew nothing, but um, everything I was told, um, it was really nice. So I thought, why not, right? Uh, and so that was how I, that was how it started. Thank you, thank you for um, this uh, this interesting story. I didn't know you basically were referred. Who uh, who basically referred you? Do you um, Tola, T yeah, Tola, T O L A. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Yeah. So tell us a little more now. Now that. By the way, what were you doing before uh, uh, before IT? So before IT, I was a security officer. Uh, okay. I was I've been there for about five years, and so yeah, that was what I was doing. Okay, before. so now you are a security officer. You are tired of it. You are done. You are ready <laughs> for a challenge. You join Yellow Tail Tech. So now tell us. You about kept your it. job while you were studying, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, so, someone has to pay for everybody. This. <laughs> like ninety nine percent of our students have families, jobs, and a regular. Um. Life. <laughs> yes. So, how is the experience? Um, talk to us. And the reason why I'm asking, I'm basically asking you to tell sixty people, give them a better idea of you know the journey. Really, once you enrolled, talk to us about how that was, how difficult, how impossible it was. How uh, did you organize your time? How did you go about studying? Uh, because people may think they just have to come to class twice a week. So how <laughs> difficult it was. <laughs> so um, I started um, 2021, um, September. So I, I did Linux for job. And, um, you know, the first day I came in, I ha we had about, I, I, I don't know, we were, we were much in the class with, with many. Um, and, you know, Juby went through the whole process and how they were going to hold our ends, you know, throughout the whole experience and how we're going to get to the, you know, final stage and get a job. Right. So um, I started. Uh, David was my instructor. David. Wow. Awesome. David is, David is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, David made that. David made it so like enjoyable. Like I was always happy to go to class. Like that's that's just one thing. Um, he made it really simple. So. The first day, you know, we started class and 
um, yeah, th there was, you know, the, the explanation was really good. Um, they, they started from the beginning. So no one was actually left out. And you can always ask questions. Like you can ask questions as many times as possible. Your classmates are also like you. They also don't know. They are clueless. So, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so like no question is lost. Like you, you don't even think you can, you want to ask a stupid question. Just ask, just ask so that, yes. you know, you, you know, you are, you asked and you will get your answer. And the other uh, class members too would al also to help them as well. Um, yeah. So we did Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, two hours class, um, seven to nine. And um, usually I would have, uh, I, I usually I don't, how I went through the process, I don't like uh, following with uh, David because some people would, you know, um, walk along with David on the command line uh, just to follow intro, but I like to pay rapt attention so that I, I get I get everything. And it's it's always recorded. So you can always go back and you know watch the video again and write your notes. So when I'm done uh, for the day, the next day, that will be the day I study for what I um lent the previous day and so I would jot uh, my you know my my points down and, and it's always really easy as long as you're following the, the class that was recorded you would get everything and uh, weekends was also there um, Saturday and Sunday um, that's just for um, re re revision yeah so everything we, we, we thought from Monday and Wednesday and Friday on Saturday and Sunday, we call it, uh, I think, I can't remember, but it was a party. Like <laughs> Yes, you, uh, David used to make, turn it into a, a party. party. Yes. Yeah, it, yes. was, it was fun before the class started, you know, we had some nice music, put us in a good mood. Uh, yeah. Every time, every time. So we would ask questions. Uh, mostly, it's mostly uh, the classmates that would have conversations on, you know, things they tried while studying and questions that comes up. So, like, it's always really fun and robust. Um, yeah, and so that went on for for about six months, and so. We were ready for our taking the exam, which is the Red Hat uh, System uh, RHCSA. Mm -hmm. um, so, and that was the well, what's the, what's it called? Um, what, remind me the next the, the what the next stage was. The third uh, prep or the ATI? The, 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 okay. the sad yeah. prep, yeah. So the sad prep. That that's the next stage that would prepare you for for the exam, um, and so the the SAT press was really good because um, it was mostly things that like it was like a sample of like a template of um, the questions during the exam. It's it's not the same thing, but it's it's close. And so that was really great. That really helped because um, when I got to the exam hall, I wasn't, you know, panicking. Oh, and oh. like, yeah, I, I already have an idea when I saw the questions and, you know, there was just some changes, but, you know, I was able to handle it. And it, it, see, it's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's really hard but you have to you have to be determined you have to be focused you have to know why you're there because sometimes you might get tired uh the command line can be crazy <laughs> <laughs> yes. you know like 
so you have like you just have to I had to stop some of my other things I do like uh, Instagram stuff like that you have to give those things up for some time you know so yeah and yeah I did the exam I passed um and I don't know maybe I should stop here <laughs> let's come back Let, let's let's come back to yes you but one thing about one thing princess. I want to highlight from Tomilayo's experience is that she found the study technique that works for her and I think that is super super key and I'm gonna I'm gonna emphasize on this because I see we have 35 students when you're you're trying to learn something new that's complicated and you're an adult like you're not going to school five days a week you're not immersed in that system like like when we were kids you have to figure out how you learn particularly so some people will learn by re-watching a video some people will learn by paying detailed attention re-watching it and trying it there some some students need to actually type in whatever David is doing at the moment to get that immediate feedback so that they know they can move ahead. So we all have to um, figure this out. And, and I think it's very useful that, that you shared that with them because I'm always talking about this, but nobody pays attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, in the meantime, if you have particular questions for um, Tomilayo, please write them in the chat. But uh, let's move to Jotson and let Jotson introduce himself. And please, as you go, if you have anything to, to, to ask, please ask us in the chat. But otherwise, welcome, Jotson. And uh, today, I'd like you to start by telling us what got you in, uh, uh, not only in Yellowtail Tech, NIT. Talk, tell us about the transition. In general. All right. Um, good evening, everybody. Um, yeah. My name is Jodson Poulos. So, um, Yellowtail for me is a is a long story. And every day when I came back from work, sitting in front of my computer, study or doing whatever I'm doing, and I always always wish I came across Yellowtail like you know three, four years ago. So um, I actually migrated from Haiti to this country. And then um, when I came here, I went to a community college for uh, IT, in which I graduated with a two years diploma, but not even one day I work with that thing, just because I don't have any experience at all. So I had to find myself, you know, other things to do, like, you know, guys, we have to pay the bills and do everything. So I end up, you know, working for FedEx, where I'm still currently working as a um, as a career. So, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, I see somebody talking in the background. Yeah, and um, my story with, with Yellowtail is, um, I remember one day I was like uh, driving for FedEx and I was on a little bit like for 15 minutes and I was watching some something on YouTube before Yellow Tail, I used to watch uh, YouTube a lot. Um, that was actually what I what I did the most, you know, when I'm on break, watch YouTube, whatever, news, movies, and everything. But I was always thinking about, you know, going back to school and then so find something to do, especially if I if you guys go to school like for something never work. It's like it's like a waste of time and money at the same time, too. And I said, I can't just come over here and, and do that and never never do anything on that, waste my time and waste my money and everything. And I said, I've got to do something. And I was actually talking to some friends, you know, some family members and say, hey, I want to do something with IT. I want to go back to school. And somebody told me, you know what, you should go for like, you know, a bachelor in IT and blah, blah, blah. I said, OK, after that, what am I going to do? And the day that I came across Yellow Tail, I think that was actually a life lifesaver for me. And I know you guys know there was like so many other like thing like book 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 boot camps, you know, people telling you they can get you ready like in three weeks and four weeks, and so you know so and so. And I say, hey, 
is is that really is that really two people that can get you ready like in four weeks like you know just for it learn something so when i came across the hotel and i actually watched some like uh videos like testimonials that you know other students already give on that platform and i was watching juby talking about that too on on youtube and i said you know what this is this is the time for me to make a decision and i think that day i just I know you guys have like a, a form on that thing. I just fill out that form and then somebody reach out to me and I talked to that lady. And to be honest with you, that lady was like, you know, one of the one of the, you know, person that actually intrigued me to get into that thing because she was like very sweet. And then she was talking to me, she said, hey, Johnson, you can do it. So let's see, blah, blah, blah. And we talk. And then I remember since the first day I talked to her and she said, OK, I'm here for you. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of that lady. I don't know if you guys know. Kim, Probably Kim. Kim. Yeah, yeah, probably somebody like that. And but she was she was so sweet, you know. And then after I did that, and she said, Okay, so I answered the question. I said, Okay, so we have two programs. Which one you want to do? Um, the AWS or you want to do the, the 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 Linux for job? I said, I'll go with the AWS. Even though I know the Linux for job is like you know shorter than that, I said, you know what? I don't have I don't I don't have any problem because if I went to school like for two years, you know, train for something and never work on that thing and i'm still here and i said so i don't think that's a problem for me just go for nine months even though it's more than nine months because now yeah. I, I, already, I already finished with the with the class so now we are we are we doing this this the start prep now so to me i don't know if there would i don't know to me i don't i don't have words to describe um yellow tail um even though i'm still in the process i don't launch a job yet but i can see what that thing is taking me so um from listening to people that's actually uh, that's actually already been you know going through that process and then watching videos and stuff like that and then when i'm comparing what i'm taking from yellowtail to some other school i can tell you guys if you're here at yellowtail you're in the right place so um i think the other thing that i can say too is that the only thing that was actually i know even though i know guys you're gonna you're probably you know gonna ask me that question so but i mean the only thing that was actually still a little problem for me is just the the the, the time because you only go to, to the class like for four hours a week like two days a week but um if we spend like four hours in class a week it's like we have to give like more 10 hours you know practicing watching videos and you know and then in my in my cohort too, we have like you know um, study session like twice a week too. We do it um, Tuesday and we do it Thursday too. So it's like not only you go to you go to the class, you go to the class. So you have to study on your own. And you, in once you go to the to the um, study session, that's 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 a plus for you too. So I don't know um, if you guys here, as somebody already said it. We all adult. We know what we want. We're not here to play. We're here to change our life. I know if you like what what you're doing now, I don't think you're gonna you know try to to do a make a transition, try to do something else. So um, now I'm working as a as a as a driver, FedEx career. I can wait. You know, I can wait to to finish with my program and you know get certified and then go through everything that you guys have you know in store for me. And then make sure I go out there and get a job. So, if you guys have questions for me, just feel free to ask me any questions you have. Yes, please uh, um, put in your question for Johnson. Johnson, um, yeah. by the way, you do know I'm Haitian as well, right? I heard about that. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That's good, good, man. Good, good. Yes, a fellow Haitian. All right. Um, so, we had some questions. Okay. In the meantime, uh, uh, we have questions. Uh, let me ask this on behalf of the students. Tell us, uh, Tomilayo, about your experience with uh, the apprenticeship. Now that you've passed your search, uh, the next step is the apprenticeship um, that leads to the job. Talk to us about that, because uh, a lot of students um, want to know that part. The question is to to Melayo, right? To Melayo, yes. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um yeah, after I finished the exam and passed, 
the internship was the next thing and um it was it was kind of a shock um because please don't scare me <laughs> oh, I have no to i them. want you to scare them i i, I, have to I them. what you're doing to Milayo, that's exactly what i want i want someone <laughs> to come in to yellow tell tech with eyes open with knowing what it really takes yeah 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 so, tell us uh the the shock was because you know it was like you're you're in a um pre it, it's an internship so you have to actually work now okay you're not <laughs> you you're, you're not just studying and studying now you actually have to work so you know i we got tickets uh i got 80 tickets we will usually get 80 tickets and each ticket you have to actually you know stay on the command line and connect networks and you know, work with softwares and do things. You, Google was my friend. Like YouTube was my best friend. I, yes. I researched a way. I watched several videos, and it's doable. You you would finally get the answer, but you just have to walk. You just have to think. You just have to. Um, like what like what you're actually doing because um you can get tired sometimes uh something might not be working and you might stay on it for for about three days and you haven't still gotten an answer uh but finally when you get that when you fix it when it works like you it's like a chip on your shoulder and like wow i did that right yes. and you just find out that you're doing it, like you're actually doing it. And you just sit and like, wow. Like, I was just wowing myself every time. I was like, wow, I just did that. Wow, I didn't know I could do that. So, um, yeah. And the coaches were amazing. Like, they help you when you're stuck. You know, you kind of know how to ask the questions so that it, it wouldn't look like you're not doing anything. You're just asking questions. They actually want to know that, okay, she's actually stuck or he's actually stuck and then they will help you. Because the concept is uh, when, you're at, when you're actually working, no one is really gonna help you. Like they, they expect you to come fix something, right? you know? So you're not- That's why they pay you. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be here, you know, just asking questions away. So um, Yellowtail, they, they didn't, you know, just give it to us like that. Um, we had to walk our way along with it. And yeah, so it took me about um, maybe six weeks to finish the internship. It's usually, I think, two months. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's so, impressive. Yeah, so um yeah, that 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 was it. And um what else? Okay, so now that you've done six weeks, you're done with the um the apprenticeship, you start working with Rob, our career success coach. How uh, tell us about that part. Okay. And sorry, one more thing. Um while at the internship as well, you you're um cohorts member that are also there with you at, in the internship. They are also there to help you out. Uh, you can ask questions from them as well. You know, you can both bounce, I guess, off each other. So they are also there in addition to the coaches. Um, yeah, and I, I forgot the question you asked me. Uh, we, uh, after the uh, uh, um, apprenticeship, you are now directly working with your uh, a career success coach. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So um, when I got to uh, Ticket 40, um, then I meet up with, with the coach, um, the career coach. Um, he's also a really great guy, um, very communicative. Um, he helps you to, um, you know, 
get to the root of whatever it is that you, you actually want to do. Um, it helps with uh, my um, resume, um, you know, get the resume up. Mostly things that you we did in the internship, that's what you put in your resume uh, because that's what you know. Um, mm -hmm. So the resume was good. Um, I opened uh, LinkedIn so that I can, you know, relate with tech world now. So um, yeah, that, that was it with, with the coach. Okay. So now you are on the job market. Um, how long uh, were you on the job market? Tell us a little bit about the job search and, and so on. Yeah, um, I think I finished... Um, was it March? Yeah. And um, was it March or I think around March, uh, June. And I started my job search. And one thing that's really great about Yellowtail is that they gave us mock interviews, three mock interviews, um, just to prepare you for the, the world out there. Uh, and so most people's first interview was always a wreck. <laughs> oh, yes. <Yeah. laughs> I remember my, well, I, 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 they said I did a bit well, but hey, I was so scared because now they, you, they have to ask you questions. You have to answer them. And, you know, mm. it was interviewing is a skill. Oh, yeah. like it wasn't else. funny. <laughs> yeah. But the next one went great. The last one was amazing. Uh, and uh, what I did was that um, after I did my second mock interview, I I actually wanted to start um, applying so that I can feel the taste, I can taste how the actual interview is and have that confidence um, to actually, you know, face them and talk to um, Santiago and uh, Ricky. So I had about 10 interviews um, with different jobs and that really helped me a lot. And my thought mock interview was really, 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 really great. And so those are the things I did to, um, you know, finish that. And um, when I started actually uh, job searching, you know, it took me about four months, uh, yeah, probably four months to, to get the one I actually liked. And so, you know, I did different interviews and they asked you questions that mostly you answered in the mock interview. Um, it actually also depends on the, um, uh, the job applications, what, what is stipulated there, what they want you to do. Um, you have to kind of just understand the, the, the resume and, and understand your resume, you know, know it off ad and just really, really study it so that when they ask you questions, they are asking you from your resume uh, and you can know how to explain yourself through the whole interview. Um, yeah, so. Yes. Uh, yeah. Last question before I go back to uh, Johnson. How much did the apprenticeship help when it came to the real job interviews you had to uh, um, go through? You mean the internship? The internship, yeah. How, how did it help? How, did you, how much did it help? Tell us a little more about that. Yeah. So... Um, the internship is mostly working on, you know, like I said earlier, on the command line, you're 
playing with different type of software. You are learning Linux commands. Uh, and so that helps because you've worked, you, you've, you've done that, you've done that practical. Uh, so when they ask you that question, you know how to answer it because you already, you've, 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 you know what they're asking. So you can explain it and walk them through, through it. And that, that really helps because I, can, I can't even imagine, I didn't, did, I didn't do the interview. There's going to be like a gap um, trying to understand what, what the, the interviewer is asking me and, and how I'm supposed to answer. So that is a big deal. The internship is, is, is an amazing concept, Yellowtail put in there. Um, yeah, so. Yes. So yes, uh, the, the mock interviews, yes, they are recorded. Uh, um, that's a question. Eight o'clock. And, and then you are able to go back to it, study it, you get immediate feedback and uh, you get a report also, uh, Batesa on which uh, um, you can see where you did, uh, you, you are measured. So you can, so we can objectively measure your mock interviews as you, uh, um, as you go through them. So yes, um, there is um, quite a bit of feedback about that. Uh, Judson, um, where, at what point exactly are you in the, in the program right now? Now we're doing this set, set prep now. <laughs> Okay, you're doing the cert prep for for um, the sysops. Yes, sir. How how are you feeling with that? Um, how is it going? Yeah, I mean it's it's going good for me. As I said, you know, it's just you know putting the time to watch the videos and practice, practice. So you know, it's just you know consistency and persistence. Yes. So we are almost. Uh, um, um, we have about ten minutes to go. Um, I don't know, um, Paloma, if you want to add something. There are a few questions in the yes, chat. I, for I example. wanted to go into the questions. Um, so there's a first one about my certs. Um, I currently have the, I'm a, I'm a Red Hat certified system administrator. I have it in several versions of Red Hat. Um, and I'm also a Red Hat certified engineer. I hold um, five AWS certs. So the solutions architect associate, professional, the developer associate, the sysops associate, and the DevOps professional. I've also had to recertify. So I, I have some of those multiple times. Um, and I also have a network plus. You guys don't have to go through all those certs though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good way uh, to challenge yourself periodically and keep yourself. Sounds like a lot. <laughs> it, it is, but it's been over many years. Um, so there's another question for for Tommy. Um, it's it says, "How was your first few weeks when you started working? Were you nervous? Is it difficult?" <laughs> um, <laughs> well, for my job because it the jobs are different right yes, what, what for they, sure for sure what they need you for is different um where i am it's mostly ticketing um you know i install applications i um change pass users password um i decommission servers you know those are the things i really do on a daily basis when I first started, yes, I was I was nervous. Like I didn't have an idea what they wanted me to do. <laughs> I yeah. was like, oh my God. I hope <laughs> I was really nervous. Yeah. But so, I reached, and then I reached out to David. Um because I was running out of my mind. So um, you know, I told David. This is what I'm feeling. I'm kind of feeling like a, a fish out of water. water. Um, and, you know, what can he help me with? And, you know, David was like, it's fine. Everyone feels that way. And, you know, I should just get you 
get like try and understand the environment um, and just ask questions that that's you just ask questions and you know just try and just continue with the strategy I used when I was in school you know whatever you knew that you learn try and um, have a note and you know just follow the trend and so that was what I did and now I am really really comfortable um, I it's been fun um, it's not that hard because you you kind of know what you know what you, you get used to it yeah you get used to it you know what it is they, they want you to do so if you can get through the exam if you can get through internship trust me you can do the job there's no there's no magic about it you you did it so um I'm I'm doing really great. Um, my manager does not have anything bad to say, so <laughs> I think I'm still fine. So you know, I I understand the that you guys might be scared. You know, nervous. It's new. You don't know what it is. I I was in your shoe, um, like two years ago. I I didn't know anything about IT. Nothing. But I am here today. I am working, um, and I'm earning good money, right? Um, and on yeah. your next job, you'll make even more money. <laughs> yes. So another. So thing just magical. go for it. Go, please go for it. It's 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 really uh, rewarding. It's really really rewarding. Yes. So Thank Eric, you. Eric is asking uh, about salary. So Eric, uh, the starting salary uh, um, for Linux admin is anywhere between seventy-five to eighty-five k. It it's gonna vary uh, according to the, the the company you end up uh, um, interviewing the for, the state you are, the, how well you you've interviewed. Um, all that is going to be a factor on what is going to be your personal, uh, the offer you get, yep. uh, Eric. So it's... it's, Wait, and, it's and, and by the way, we've seen it all. We've seen the students that start at 75. We've seen the students that start at 140. Yes, um, literally. Uh, from I 75 to, say, to 140. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, it it's mostly depends on the company and it also depends on you. Yep. Um, how good you are, how, how you, you show yourself, up, how confident mm -hmm. you show up in what you're saying, mm -hmm. how you answer their questions. Um, they rate that. Right now, I am, I am, you know, like six figures. So I am, I'm, and I'm a system. Uh, you're doing great, girl. <laughs> So, you know, it, it depends on you at the end of the day and the yes. company. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me answer it another way, Eric. Um, there's such a thing as adapting interview, interviewing, meaning they come in with the typical kind of questions. And according to how well you are answering the question, they adapt it uh, yeah. higher to your level, they adapt the questions higher or lower. So that doesn't mean you're gonna not gonna get the job. That probably means you're gonna be slotted as a junior for that job and you're gonna get a junior salary. If you were uh, answering the questions and showing up as a senior system admin, you will be slotted as a senior system admin and you will get the matching salary for a senior system admin. So it's not it's it's not written on stone. They need you as much as you need them. So they are they are literally measuring how valuable you will be for the uh, institution you show up. So how valuable you project to being being that's how much you're gonna get. Okay. Okay. Let's let's move on to the next one. So Melaya, this one is also for you. Are there any recommended study manuals or training at Yellow or or Yellow Tell Tech training is enough for everything? 
Yeah, it is. That's um, David used to say something because sometimes I get I get to be, you know, anxious and I want to I, I will like, oh, let me go to YouTube and do my yeah, research, research. Mm -hmm. while, you know, oh, there's this thing I want to know. And David will always say, don't, 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 don't go to YouTube. You know, because there's so many information there and you just get lost in it. So Yellowtail has everything you need, literally everything. The, the uh, books, the everything you need to start this course and finish it, they yeah. will provide it. So, so in, in general, and, and speaking from a different perspective, we try to, to organize a class where everything you need is there. Like for you to go through the modules, you, you're provided with everything you need. When you get to VITI, there you are actually the encouraged mm -hmm. to, to um, go outside the content we provide because that's how the real world is going to look like you're going to end up in an environment that's going to have their what they call their tech stack. So those are like all the applications and systems that make that company, that company um, never matches what you see at the company that's next door. So you have to learn how to operate in the unknown, but knowing that you have all the fundamentals you need to hold that job. And to be a badass professional, like, and I, I and I think you guys can see Tomilayo is one. <laughs> um, so, so that that's how our program works by design. Let's, let's yes. move on to the next question. Um, so previous co previous cohorts were preparing for Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux eight. Now that rel nine is out, will learning modules get tweaked to prepare for the next for the next release? Yes, that's the short answer. We yeah. usually uh, um, who asked this Abyssa, we usually yeah. train you on one module and get you certified in a different module just to always give you uh, uh, um, exposure to two different uh, um, version of uh, Red Hat. <laughs> Yes, so that's usually how it goes. And the the logic there is Red Hat can release all the versions they want, but it takes companies a while to actually adopt years, them. sometimes years. Yes. So let's say if RHEL 9 is out, if we start training admins that are only trained on RHEL 9, they're not they're not going to be able to go and find a job on that version. So we want them to know perhaps seven and eight. Um, yes. But for, for CERP prep, we're, we're definitely updating our materials. Okay. And now, now because of the partnership, we do that faster. Yes, um, because all these um, um, training are available immediately as they come out through yeah. Red Hat. Let's do this last question. It's a rather broad question. And then we, we wrap up because we're already over by two minutes. Um, what happened with the big two IT companies, Google, Microsoft, layoff, uh, uh, thousands of professional. This is quite worrying. Uh, what's my take on it? It has nothing to do with uh, um, the need for Linux system admin and uh, cloud computing. If you go right now in Indeed, you're gonna see thousands of, uh, of Linux and cloud jobs uh, in the midst of layoff that are, are, um, are trying to be filled. So don't let what's happening to three or four big companies that were that overhired, that, are, that were bloated, that, were, that are trying to uh, um, slam down, don't let that uh, um, be your uh, 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 understanding of the broader IT market. There are SMBs, there are small business, small companies, medium-sized companies, and all other companies that are going at a steady growth of 10 to 30% that needs those uh, very particular type of jobs, uh, uh, type of positions. 
So what's happening with those uh, few companies that make the headline doesn't reflect the reality of the real market that needs professionals more than they, they can train for it. Yeah. Okay. And I, I think there's a, a an additional angle to that. I think after the pandemic, it was it it became evident that you didn't you you don't need a, a workforce that comes to the office full time. And I and I think part of these layoffs have a lot to do with shedding some of those people that were in expensive cities that came to the office because now everybody's trying to reduce their office footprint if they were if they had people in San Francisco but now they can hire people in Tennessee that on average can make $30,000 less just because they they don't have the same cost of living these companies are going to try to take advantage of that and that's an opportunity for us because we're going into the to the job market from wherever we are so i think the layoff should be a motivation for you to finish in the short term and go get through like and, uh, and, and also layoffs don't affect subject matter experts the yeah. more of a subject matter expert you are the more pointed your training is uh the 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 less generic broad layoffs affect your job Yep. The best way to 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 secure uh, uh, um, to to get job security is to add for you. That I'm talking to you now, uh, Tomilario, is to add additional training, additional certification, become more of a subject matter expert. And trust me, no layoffs will ever touch you. Special. Yeah. And uh, subjects matter. You mean? Like, let's uh, say let's say uh, the company you are now, uh, let's say they 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 have a certain um, cloud uh, um, um, platform they use. Go get certified in that cloud platform. If it's AWS, let's say uh, if they they're using need, if they're using Red Hat, then maybe consider becoming maybe a Red Hat exactly maybe come. Maybe consider coming back to us and becoming a Red Hat certified system engineer, just like Paloma. So add more layer to or your learn training. Learn about containers, but learn learn of, about Terraform. Uh, you see what I mean? Go go yeah. in deeper into one area is the antidote to uh, um you know managing all this uncertainty okay. that's always gonna uh, um exist in the job market. That makes sense. Yeah, so don't Can get I, complacent well, because a lot of yeah. people, uh, they they get yeah. compl- especially when they are making way more money than they used to make. Mm. So now they quickly get complacent and then the market leaves them behind. So be very careful with this. Okay. Yeah. That, thank you for that. Um, and I also want to say <laughs> I, it's also really good because I I work remotely hundred percent, and so. If you don't, if you're that, that's what you're looking for as far, you know, work. It's also great for that, you know. Yes. I just want to show that in. Yes, thank you, Johnson, for showing up. Um, keep at it. Get certified fast. Let's get you and. Uh, I can't and wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> and then, yeah, man. So you can um show up on this uh, 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 meeting with us again, but as the alumni this time. Okay. Yeah, will. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much, Kamalayo. Uh, nice meeting you. Thank, Thank you, Jackson. We appreciate your help a lot. And um, thank you for all your questions and um, have a great yes. evening. Everybody, uh, you can scan this uh, this QR code to follow us on our different social media platforms. Um, it's a cool way to stay up to date with what's happening at Yellowtail. Thanks for coming. And if you're interested to any of our programs, uh, we posted the um, booking link, book a 10-minute intro call with our enrollment advisors. Yes, uh, the the link is right here in the chat. If you want to start um, talking to an enrollment advisor, go ahead and hit that link and schedule a 10-minute intro call. Thank you so much. Good question, guys. You might you might already posted that, but if I want to refer somebody 
Um, you guys already posted a link, right? Where we can share with someone if someone wanna be like. Yeah. Yes. So uh, I'll have uh, Yana reach out to you immediately after that, mm -hmm. Johnson. All right. To to route you to to the right person. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tomelayo. Right. Have a great evening. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.